The footage is black and white, but for those who were in Dallas that day, the memories are as colorful and clear as they were that November morning in 1963. President Kennedy and his wife working the crowds at Love Field, the motorcade through downtown Dallas. Motorcycle policeman Bobby Hargis was the closest to the president when he heard a shot. And that first bullet, it went through him and through the seat and hit uh, Conley's wrist and glanced off into his thigh. The motorcade rushed to Parkland Hospital where doctors worked in vain to save him. In downtown Dallas, attention turned to the Texas School Book Depository building where law enforcement officers discovered a perch on the sixth floor near a window and a rifle. A short time later, Lee Harvey Oswald was arrested and charged with the murder of President Kennedy. Oswald was gunned down Sunday morning in the basement of Dallas Police Headquarters. He's been shot. He's been shot. Lee Oswald has been shot. To this day, there has been conjecture whether Oswald acted alone or was there a conspiracy. We found no credible evidence to indicate that there was a conspiracy. Veteran CBS anchorman Walter Cronkite told Tracy Rowlett he thinks Oswald acted alone. And we could not produce anybody else who participated in the shooting, which is most remarkable. If it was a conspiracy, it seems that in this time, a leak would have developed somewhere along the line sure. to give us a clue to a conspiracy. That has never developed. We do not have such.